Okay, question number three. What do we think about NFTs and uh, will Teresa do anything with NFTs in the future? So um, NFTs or non-fungible uh, tokens are actually very, very interesting. We've already seen uh, them gaining a ton of traction with digital collectibles such as CryptoKitties and we're seeing you know, digital art actually gaining uh, a ton of traction in the market as well. So as, uh, as, an, as an asset class, I think uh, NFTs are actually very, very interesting. It's definitely something to watch out for in the future. Um, for Teraxa, um, because we're very focused on tracking informal transactional data and informal transactional agreements, um, each agreement that we're tracking are unique, so they're also non-fungible. Now, it's very interesting because a lot of these um, agreements might have some value right, to somebody who's not a direct stakeholder in the agreement itself. So for example, you might have a few contractors on a construction site agreeing to uh, some minor agreement during their daily work um, and a bank, a financial institution who is not a direct stakeholder to that agreement actually has a financial interest in the outcome of that agreement, right? They want to make sure that nothing went wrong, that the agreements are going through, that there are consistent working relationships happening uh, between the person, the contractor that they lent money to and the, uh, and, the, uh, and the other players, the other stakeholders in that project. So that is actually worth something to the bank to see a successful execution of these agreements and to see that these agreements actually occur and take place, right? So um, it's not exactly like uh, a piece of digital collectible, but um, these are non-fungible assets that, uh, like I said, an indirect stakeholder uh, will be interested in. So longer term, uh, what Terraxa really wants to do is that by collecting all these um, transactional relationships, right, captured uh, through these informal agreements, we are actually building a network of reputations, right? And this set of reputations when revealed, uh, coupled with reveal identities, could actually lend credibility and also potentially value to all these non-fungible uh, informal agreements that we're capturing on the network. So they could potentially in the future become tokenized uh, to the right parties.